Hey, this is us, my girlfriend Carla and me, Jan. A few months ago we decided to explore Queensland, Australia, underwater, on land and in the air. This video captures our memories and experiences, as well as the friendly locals which we have met along the way. Follow us on a trip of a lifetime. But wait, let's start the story from the beginning. After flying on a huge plane to Australia, we finally arrived in Sydney. We spent a few days here and explored the famous attractions of Sydney before heading out to the outback. After enjoying the stunning landscape and the night sleeping under the stars, it was time to move on to our next adventure. We finally arrived in the tropical north of Queensland. After sleeping in the wild in the outback, we booked ourselves into a nice boutique hotel with a real bed and then headed out to explore the wonderful currents. We took a few photos, visited the local watering hole and enjoyed a great dinner before heading back to our last night in a real bed. The next day we enjoyed the healthy breakfast options in the hotel, got inspired by the historical events on the walls, okay maybe not by this one or that one, before picking up our rental car for the next few weeks. We drove from beach to beach to, you guessed it, another beach, went for a walk, got back to the car and then skipped a few beaches along the way until we finally made it to our first attraction, Mossman Gorge. Quick spoiler, we didn't see any of these, or these, or these, but we did see many of those fellas. After relaxing next to the creeks and gorges and strongly regretting not to have applied any insect repellent, we made our way to Port Douglas for our first night sleeping in the van. And you guessed it, next to a dream beach. Later that evening, we also found out why nobody was swimming on those beautiful beaches. There is a slight chance you get eaten by crocodiles. I bet they didn't know either. We climbed up a hill to have a better view, kept wondering how rich the person must be living here. I mean, look at that view. And then enjoyed the sunset. Before heading to bed. The first night in our camper van. It was an early start the next morning. After another healthy breakfast, we left the marina of Port Douglas. Got our crocodile warning confirmed. There is about a four and a half meter saltwater crocodile which lives up the inlet. This will not end well for anyone. And we're on the way to explore the Great Barrier Reef. After a few hours on the boat, we jumped into the cold water and made it look easy. Made our first discoveries and enjoyed all the colorful fishes and the show in front of us. took us to three different spots within the Great Barrier Reef. We found lots of different fishes, giant clams, 
hidden fish, cool corals, we even found Nemo. But what we really wanted to see was a turtle. So the hunt began. We kept searching. Deep down next to the reef, close to the reef, far from the reef, and between the reefs. Until at last we found a second Nemo. Sorry, getting off track. There she was, majestically floating through the water. That was it. Mission accomplished. The next day. And time to explore Queensland from above. We quickly signed away all our rides and then we were ready for takeoff. We were not allowed to take pictures or video, but there was a GoPro attached to the aircraft. We saw lots of rays, turtles, sea cows, a hammerhead shark and of course the famous crocodiles. It was amazing. We got back on the road and made our way to the Daintree River. Waited for the ferry made it across the river and into Daintree National Park. Our first stop was the Daintree Discovery Center, the number one attraction in the Daintree Forest. The main reason we came here was a 23 meter high viewing platform. Let me quote from the website. The view from the top of the tower is breathtaking and simply cannot be missed. Well, see for yourself. Cannot be missed? Seriously? But we did see some animals. A bird and then even, well, some more birds. Some plants and we moved on. Well, and this was the real number one attraction. The Daintree Ice Cream Company. Here you can taste four different flavors of ice cream which change daily. The fruit used is grown organically in the orchard around the shop. Amazing. This cannot be missed. This time for real. Afterwards we hit the road again met some locals and then enjoyed the famous Cape Tribulation. On our way back we went for a quick walk in the rainforest, said goodbye to the locals and took some more photos of some green beaches along the way. We even found the real breathtaking view we were promised earlier. This time for free. We found a campground next to a, you guessed it, dream beach and enjoyed our last evening while starting to dream about all the things which were yet to come on our way down to Brisbane. And oh boy, we had no clue what was yet to come. See you in part two. Let's cure travel deficiency.